good afternoon agents this is Claude 14 or 15 if you know me from YouTube <laughs> on tutorial 17 we are going to show you how to validate a credit card so basically we're going to check if the credit card is real or not so what you want to do is go to Microsoft Visual Studios and create your form in here though we are going to double click on the form erase the private sub form load in the code editor and we're going to type private function and we're going to type uh, we're going to call it credit card all right open parentheses by vowel and then value as string and parentheses as boolean now enter and enter and that should be all right there. In here though, we're gonna write dim check sum as integer equals zero. Enter dim double flag as boolean equal open parentheses value dot length mod two equals zero and parentheses. Enter twice so we have a little separation and type dim digit as car dim digit value as integer and then for each digit in value oops, for each digit in value we're gonna write digit value equals parse Hey, when that happens, digit value equals parse. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was my mind went away. Forgot this one. Integer dot parse. There we go. Yay! Digit. And now here we're gonna write if double flag. If double flag then digit value star times two basically equals times equals two there we go yeah I'm getting nervous and I start messing up so if digit value is over nine then digit value minus equals nine all right and then and if and if we're gonna press enter after the second and if alright so we have a space there above the next and we're right ouch what the hell no get off of me got my cat on me now we're gonna write check sum plus equals digit value and then we're gonna write double flag equals not equals not double flag and that should be it after the next though we're gonna press enter and we're gonna write return check sum mod 10 equals 2 I mean 10 equals 0 there you go and that should be the end of code. How do you run this? Basically, you create a button and a text box. But let's see if let's let's use a max masked text box max masked text box. There we go. And let's set the max to. How do we do this? Okay, that's how we do it. So zero 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 dash zero 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 dash zero 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 dash zero 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 there we go because basically this program does not um add the dashes it doesn't check the dashes I don't know if I did it right let's see oh yeah it is right all right maybe this is big enough there we go all right so now we're gonna double click on the button and we're gonna type um, 
if credit card and then the mask test bar mask test box one dot text then box it's real we got the quotation so let's add the quotations else message box that's not a credit card and the credit card that I'm going to be using right now is one that's been cancelled one of mine has been cancelled a long time ago just in case if you're wondering so right now you get an error saying crap not in the correct format what the hell And this is why I hate Visual Basics 2010. It is in the correct format. I don't see no errors. Oh. Wow, I'm stupid. I see why. Alright then. Let's take out the mass test box. Let's add a text box. Let's check if the text box can do it and do it. Alright. In here, let's try it out. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. That, that's what's wrong. It was checking it, it was checking the little lines in between. And that's what it was giving the errors. So that was my bad on adding the mass test bar. Uh, text box. Alright. So that's another error. You can't have little lines so we won't ever know if people are or not unless you use a check in that. So right now let's check my credit card number 47447600509323285. It's real, yay! As you can see the credit card is real. If you want to use my credit card number as you know a test go ahead and uh, thank you for watching the tutorial and always know whoops, always know that Visual Basics 2010 sucks ass thank you bye bye